are in Excel, I'm going to talk about the four types of data that you can type into an Excel spreadsheet. Excel is something that is integrated into almost all of our lives. I mean, it's we, we find it at work, we find it even at home. We, 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 we use this, or we could use this program in a lot of different areas of our lives. So this is really just to get a basic understanding of, of what Excel will accept. So the first type of data I'm going to tell you about is a label. Now, if I just start typing into a cell, I'm going to type the word Jan and I hit enter. That essentially is entered in a label. If I typed section one, hit enter, this is a label. If I type my name, this is a label. Anything that involves uh, text and numbers, so characters, numbers, uh, special characters, those would be considered labels. And by default, a label will always align to the left hand side of the cell. The second piece of information we can type in would be a number. So if I typed in the number 1000, 500, even if I typed 1200 and I separated it with a comma, this is still considered a number. Now, as a side point, I don't like to include characters when I type in my numbers. So dollar signs, commas, these types of things can be added after the fact. And that's the way I prefer to do it. But as you can see, these have aligned over to the right hand side and they are a number. Now, the next type of information I can type into Excel would be a date. So I'm gonna type Jan space second, 2015. And when I go and hit enter here, <clears throat> it actually converted the format on me and aligned it over to the right. That's how I know it was a date. If I would have typed Jan second, let's say a space, 2015, I hit enter, you'll notice that one stayed on the left. This is a label. This is not considered a date in Excel's mind. So we want to be very specific how we type in dates. On that note, if uh, when I am typing in a date, just because it does drive me a little bit crazy in a lot of programs, I'll do control semicolon. That puts in the current date for me, and then I can just change it uh, to the date that I want to use. So let's say I wanted to use Jan 2nd, 2015. I can just change it here, and I know it's in an acceptable format. So those are labels, numbers, dates. The last type of information you can enter into Excel is a formula. Now I'm just going to keep this real basic with a formula, but all formulas must start with an equals. I know those of you screaming at the computer going, oh, you could also use an at. Well, yes, technically that is true if we want to live back in the days of Lotus. So typically we use an equals. I'm going to type in five plus five, hit enter. The formula result displays. Now formulas could result in a label a number or a date it doesn't have to just be numbers and I'll talk about that in a maybe we'll do that tomorrow I'll do that for tomorrow's video I'll talk about different types of uh, results of a formula but for now those are the four types of data you can enter into Excel you can enter labels you can enter numbers you can enter dates and of course you can enter formulas